Hello guys, welcome back again and if you're new, you're very very welcome. So today I'm coming to you guys with a full face makeup tutorial. If you guys want to see this look, keep on watching and I hope you like it. So first, I'm gonna start off by priming my highlight. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer in Eden. I'm gonna be putting this all over my highlight. Primer helps our eyeshadow to pop out more. And I'm blending it out with a brush. And now I'm gonna take the dark brown eyeshadow, but not really dark. Yeah, I think it's not that dark. And I'm gonna be packing it on my lid and I'm blending it out. Yeah with a brush like another brush so still going back to the to the dark brown eyeshadow and i'm putting it back on my lid just to you know to have more divine um yeah to be able to pop out more <laughs> and now i'm taking the like uh like a pink yeah some like pink and close to purple and i'm putting it down my crease yeah and you guys you want to blend out your eyeshadow because you don't want it to look like you know what i'm saying <laughs> still using the pink eyeshadow i'm gonna be blending it in the outer view of my eye and blend 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 yeah okay guys so i'm going back to my lid and i'm taking a uh, eyeshadow color like a bronze color yeah I think it's browns. It looks like a browns, like yeah. So I'm gonna be um packing it on my lid and just you not know, blend and blend and blend and blend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm using a light brown eyeshadow on my crease just to cool down the pink eyeshadow. Yeah. Now I'm taking a dark brown and that is really dark, yeah. Oh god, I need to stop saying yeah. So I'm putting that on my outer V and blending it out very well. I'm using a, a cream eyeshadow on my brow bone and just you know, just to add light under my brow. Now I need to fix my eyebrow because I missed out. And so, yes, yeah, so I'm taking my eyeliner, and I love this eyeliner because it's very easy to use. Like, very very easy. Mm -hmm. All the products used in this video will be listed down in the description box. So yeah, I'm gonna put everything there. For my tear dot, tear dot, I'm using the Lorac bronzer, and yeah, and I will blending it, blending it up with my Morphe brush, and yes, I already applied my lashes off camera, and that it is for the eyes, and for my face. I started off by using the Becca primer to prime my face. This is gonna help my makeup to stay on all day. And I'm blending it out with my finger. So now I'm taking the Max Studio Corrector to correct my acne scar. As you guys can see, I have a lot of blemishes and acne scar. Mm. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, I'm looking crazy right now, but I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. So now I'm taking my NAS foundation and my Re Techniques, Re Techniques brush. I'm gonna be applying my foundation. I love using this foundation because it gives me a full coverage look. Even sometimes I don't use my corrector to correct my face. 
like i can just go ahead and use the use the foundation without correcting my face sometimes And now I'm taking the remaining foundation and the brush to blend out my neck. Now I'm gonna be highlighting my face and I'm using the NAS concealer in camera to highlight under my eyes, my chin, my forehead and the bridge of my nose. Highlighting. So now I'm using the uh, a damp beauty blender to to blend out the concealer. You know, you have to blend it out very well. So blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna be using Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm gonna set every area that I highlighted. I really don't do too much contour but I'm gonna be using black radiance in cafe to contour my face because right now I'm looking like a clown <laughs> and we do not want that so I'm just contouring my face and uh, yeah so I'm taking um, a cover girl in Ebony to bronze my face. I'm basically applying it as um, as a contour because I'm just going back to where I applied the black radius again. You know, so just gonna say contour too. So yeah. I'm using my matte powder. And I'm taking a little powder on the brush to blend out the Sasha powder that I used to set my highlight. Mm, yeah. I'm not really applying a lot of blush, and I'm using the NYX Big Blush on my cheek. And now I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal to too much to uh, I like the highest point of my cheek, and I'm taking I'm gonna be taking um, some of it on my on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin, just a little bit, of, not too much. My face looks shiny um, in this video right now because I'm facing a big uh, window and my and the sun is just too much today. So I'm taking the uh, blush brush to bl uh, just to blend out the highlights because I don't want it to be too too glowy. Uh, now it's time to set my face and I'm using my Mac powder to set my face. Just you know, set everything and yeah. So that's, that's what I'm doing right now, just you know, set my face with my MAC powder.
I'm using the about the K all nighter spray. Spraying our face helps our makeup to last all day. And to line my lips, I'm using a dark brown lip pencil. And I'm gonna be using my NY Hairs liquid lipstick as my on my lip today. And I messed up by little corrected. I hope you guys like this video and if you haven't subscribed please do so and comment, like, share and uh, I'm gonna be using a low rock bronzer on the top of my leaves just to know just to uh, lighten and give you more Spring Chloe <laughs> and I'm blending it out with a brush and that's it for the video please subscribe like this video and thanks for watching bye guys